This is Don Bartolo, a senior commodities broker and market strategist with Daniels Trading in Chicago. I'm also the trader behind the Trade Spotlight advisory service. Trade Spotlight is broken into three segments, Trade Spotlight futures, commodity options, and future spreads. Uh, this is Beyond the Spotlight, a video series that spotlights two or three markets that may become trading opportunities for this week. This week begins with Monday, August 31st, 2020. As we end the month of August and roll into September, a couple months away from the presidential election. Please pause the video and read the disclosures to understand the risks involved with futures and commodity options trading. Okay, let's jump right into our first chart. This is December 2020 crude oil. As you can see on this chart, crude oil really hasn't been doing much uh, the month of August. Trading in a sideways channel, very tight range. You have the 200-day and 20-day moving averages converging. The market did fill in this gap going back to the beginning of March. This is when the pandemic was first breaking out. Uh, and then plus the uh, OPEC issues between Russia and Saudi Arabia pushed crude oils to new low. At one point, we even went negative. But the market filled in that gap, so that's taken care of. Now what we're seeing is consolidation on the chart. I'm actually looking for an opportunity to go short this market uh, seasonally. Uh, crude oil does sell off. Some of these later months, uh, you know, November, December, January, uh, in this time frame. Uh, and that makes sense with the consolidation here to, to get a pullback. Uh, you can see my MACD indicator is pretty flat. The stochastic indicator, this is a momentum indicator, showing a little bit of downside momentum. I'd be looking for a close below this lower trend line. It only has three touches, so it's not very strong. You can see there's a lot of space here uh, on, on this trend line. Uh, but I think a close below this trend line, maybe even perhaps the 50-day moving average at 41.93, we can see the market head back into into this area here there's a lot of potential targets we can look at we can look at some of these lows <clears throat> but a bulk of that price looks to be about the 32 33 price level i don't know if we get down that low but i think we can write it down for at least a few points uh, stop losses would go above uh, these session highs here uh, so this one could be setting up very quickly this week next chart i want to look at is the december 2020 cotton futures contract so almost a similar chart to the crude oil contract. Some sideways trading action this month. Uh, market uh, traded up along this lower trend line. Found some resistance up here near the 67 price level. Uh, this session high that was put in last week was 66.45 on August 25th. Uh, kind of matches uh, support level, previous support level going back to the end of last year, uh, and then the market at the beginning of the pandemic really broke down here in March. Uh, again, looking for an opportunity to go short this market. You've got the 200-day moving average and the 50-day moving average converging. The 20-day moving average is still pointed up, um, so it's not quite ready to sell, although you see the MACD uh, right here. The trend is, is starting to wane a little bit. And then your stochastics indicator, a trend indicator, I'm sorry, a uh, momentum indicator is showing some pickup in the downside momentum. So again, this could happen fairly quickly if we get a close below this lower trend line, have the 20-day moving average hook back over. That can set up a nice sell entry to the downside. Some potential targets. Yeah, I'd have to look at this 12-month contract low. Uh, that comes in at 50.18 from April 2nd, that's certainly potential, or down at least the 54.55 price level. But as always, we would trail a stop as the market moves lower and just lock in what we can. All right, the last chart I wanna look at today is November 2020 orange juice. In this market, I'm looking for a potential setup to the upside. There's a strong support level uh, coming in. These recent lows here, the last, the lowest one is 114.50 from August 10th. And we seem to be trading down to that level and, and finding that support once again. Uh, so looking for an opportunity to buy off a bounce of this lower support level. There's also a 200-day moving average. 
at 116.37. You can see the MACD, a trend indicator, is flat, but has the potential to turn back up. This is an uptick in upside momentum. Not much. It's, it also is pretty flat. Uh, the 20-day moving average is pointed down. Same with the 50-day. So I'd be looking for some consolidation at this level and then looking for a breakout to the upside, a momentum entry technique on a break of a pivot point high, potentially this high here, uh, which is from the 28th, so Friday at 118.30. Uh, uh, but again, I'd like to see a consolidation first, maybe another pivot point high sets up a little bit lower. And then with the stochastics hooking up, you've got some momentum. You can buy using a stop order to get long uh, on momentum. Upside target has to be the 12-month contract high here. Uh, that comes in at uh, 131.10 from the 14th of July. Uh, stop loss would go below this support level here. Uh, depending on the pivot point, potentially these lows here. But looking for some consolidation first, that might take you know, until later in this week for a setup in this market. But let's keep our eyes on the November 2020 orange juice contract. All right, quick look at what the trade spotlight uh, looks like coming into your email uh, you have a write-up on the trade idea, the precise entry order, along with the stop and target or risk-reward if you're in an option position. Uh, so you know the you know the risk and reward before you get into a trade. Uh, any pertinent information, margin requirements, expiration dates, and a chart that you can click to expand to take a look at in detail. You can find the trade spotlight at the Daniels Trading webpage. Click on Advisories, and then go down to Technical Analysis where Trade Spotlight lives. You can read more about it, see some recent posts, subscribe. It's a free resource to clients of mine, clients of the firm. Otherwise, you can take a 90-day free trial, and then after that, you can pay quarterly to uh, follow along with the trade recommendations. If you have any questions on the markets I discussed today or the markets in general, give me a call. I can send an email to tradespotlight at danielstrading.com. Thank you for taking the time to listen. Happy trading.